older, your thing gets your skin gets a little thinner, and you just keep <laughs> migrating west. It's a little bit better out go. this way. Well, my my dad uh, did the very same thing in 1966. Okay, came out here. Uh, came out here in uh, the middle of winter and uh, <laughs> called my mom and said, "How about California?" And the answer was yes. <laughs> of course, uh, two weeks after we left Chicago, they they got hit with a a record snowstorm. So my roots are are Midwestern as well, but yours are East Coast, and then I guess by virtue of how you were where you were raised, yeah, Midwest. So we're live now. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Mike Kolick. I'm the owner of Dental Masters Laboratory. I'm joined tonight by Davis McGee uh, with our friends at Align Itero, and we're going to spend the next. Uh, 60 minutes together uh, going over the, the latest and greatest in intraoral scanning. Uh, Davis is, a, is an expert in the world of iOS intraoral scanning, in particular the Align iTero product line. So on that note, Davis, I'm going to, to let you jump right in and share with us uh, the content that you have for us, us this evening. I do want to point out that uh, we have a chat room. So in the very bottom there, if you've got a question during the program, during uh, Davis's portion, please put a question in. I will get it to Davis uh, as I can while he's speaking. And then when it's my turn to share with you my insights from the dental lab perspective, um, he will do the same. So we very much welcome your questions during the program and we'll try and make time for all of them in the hour that we've allocated. So on that note then, Davis, the floor is yours, sir. Awesome. Thank you very much, Michael. Yeah. Um, thank you, everybody, for attending this evening. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules to join Michael and myself tonight. Um, Want to go over a few things with the scanners. Don't know if you've had one of your local uh, iTero territory managers visit with you, but um, tonight is going to be a quick overview. We're not going to do a huge deep dive into it. Um, that would be something I would have you go back to your local ITERO, ITERO territory manager and speak with them a little bit more. Tonight is just to kind of get you familiar with some of the um, powerful tools that we have. Um, as, as Michael had said, I've been uh, kind of in this industry for quite some time. I've got 20 years of experience in medical device and over the past six years have been in the dental space focusing strictly on digital impressioning. So I've seen all the scanners kind of coming and going, have their own iterations of uh, the technology changes as well. Um, and now I've been with uh, iTero for two years now in helping offices uh, implement uh, this technology into their practice uh, so they can realize this, th these great features. So what I'm going to uh, cover tonight is just to kind of give you a little bit of a foundation of the scanner, um, why it's different from other scanners. Um, you might be looking at some other scanners out there, and we're going to kind of talk to you about, you know, what makes us unique. Um, the biggest thing that I want to, you know, emphasize and point out is that our platform is what makes us unique to all the other scanner companies that are out there. The Align Digital Platform is an integrated platform that empowers you, the dentist, to incorporate a digital strategy into your practice with one device. You're choosing a platform for dentistry, not a product that's gonna fit a need. And so the three primary ways that our iTero can drive productivity for you and, and your teams is wellness, restorative, and Invisalign. And so those are some of the things that we're going to be touching on tonight. Um, and as we're kind of going through, as Michael had alluded to, if there's any questions that you do have, definitely feel free to um, jot those down in the chat session. And then we can also address those as we get towards the tail end of this. So as I'm kind of going through this, I'm going to actually jump into my scanner in just a little bit here to show you some of the things. And then we'll pass it over to Michael to uh, kind of round out the session here. So as I had said, the, the main difference with us versus all the other scanner companies out there is, is, again, our platform. We allow the ability for you with one scan to be able to capture numerous things, as you can see on the, the, the screen here. So we can do 3D images. 
we can do <clears throat> restorative work, we can do occlusion, we can do Invisalign, we can do outcome simulator, and most recently, we also can do near infrared imaging, which I'll be touching on in just a little bit. So our roots have definitely been in restorative. If you have not seen the scanner before, they are off to the side there, uh, showing uh, the tall one that is typically what most offices have. It is a long tower. You can wheel it from operatory to operatory. It does have a battery backup in it where you do not have to have it plugged in while you're scanning, which makes it kind of nice. Um, the screen is a 21 inch touchscreen high definition monitor. Um, that you can, again, kind of wheel around. You can wipe that all off. It's all medical grade glass, so you can kind of wipe it down. For some of our other practices that they have maybe multiple offices and they're bouncing from office to office during the week, we do have that laptop version that's down in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. Um, and that is basically our wand that plugs into a, uh, a laptop and then you can cart that from office to office. So again, we do have our roots in restorative. We've been doing this for over, I mean, over nine years now, um, even prior to Invisalign purchasing Caden technology. So we're very well versed in restorative. So we're not just an Invisalign scanner. And again, I would have you definitely talk with your, your ITERO representatives on that. We can deep dive deeper into that. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you. So we were also indicated uh, approval by the FDA in March of this year uh, for the near infrared imaging, which allows us to detect interproximal caries, as well as being able to do intraoral imaging uh, with annotation. So that's a really, really great thing for us here. It has been out globally for the past 18 to 22 months. So we've gotten a lot of data on that as far as how well this has been integrating into practices. So this gives you the ability now to detect those real tricky areas interproximally that you might not be able to detect with a bite wing. This is gonna detect it quite a bit uh, sooner than doing a bite wing. I know sometimes with the bite wing, it can be fairly difficult to be able to assess if it truly is a carious lesion or not. Uh, about a year ago, the University of California of Dentistry did a study. And in that study, it showed that over 40% of interproximal caries above the gum line go undetected. I thought that was a very staggering statistic, but it's, it's no fault of any offices. Everybody's busy. You might not be looking for it. It might be difficult to find. It depends upon the amount of bacteria that is in that space. So you, this is something that you can actually use to be able to do more of a little bit early diagnosis of that area. So it's not going to replace your bite wings, but it's definitely a nice adjunct. And I'm going to be showing that here in just a second. So this is actually what it would look like, just as a quick snapshot on your screen, as far as what the, the near infrared imaging will look like on the screen or on your scanner. So you've got your 3D image and then we've got the near infrared imaging and then we've got your high definition intraoral photo um, down in the bottom right hand corner. So we always say, you know, use this to better educate your patients. And I'm gonna kind of go into that when, when we dive in into my scanner here <clears throat> and you can kind of see how this thing can navigate, but it's, it's all about patient education, wellness, getting your patients to better understand the treatment programs that you're recommending to them. It's very difficult right now for them to try to understand maybe what you're trying to share with them verbally. So that's kind of it with the slides. I always like to try to keep those as, as short and sweet. And then what I'd love to do now is just kind of dive into my scanner. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to log into my scanner. This is a, a screen, or I'm literally tunneled into my scanner. So this is the dashboard of my scanner. One nice thing about our scanners is that there, there's no technician that needs to come to your office if, there's, if there should be an issue. We can remote into these. As you can see right now, I'm remoted into my scanner. If there ever is an issue, you can always call our customer support and they can remote into our scanner and be able to self-diagnose what could be the problem, whether it's the actual scanner, the wand, or the cord. So with that being said, let me just dive in. I mean, this is what all of you came to see. So I want to show you what the capabilities are that this thing has. 
So very easy to navigate around. Patients, obviously, that's where our patients are residing. So I can easily go in here, look at all of my patients. I can search my patients with this search bar, or I can scroll down and look through all of my patients here. The one thing I do want to share with you is with, with our scanner, we are also a cloud-based scanner as well. So what I mean by that is we've got our scanner here that we're doing all of our scanning on, but then everything is also replicated or duplicated in the cloud, which allows you the ability to maybe be scanning someone in this operatory. And if I have a, another computer terminal or computers in any of my other operatories, I can easily go in those operatories and pull up any of these images that I've scanned any of my patients, giving you the ability to almost kind of have two scanners in one giving you the ability to be able to talk to your patients about treatment plans, all the while someone else, maybe your hygienist is, is scanning someone for a wellness scan. So again, this is a touchscreen monitor. I do have a mouse on it right now, just so I can easily show you around on the scanner. So this is our, our scan here. I've got all these different tools here on the side, which allows me to separate these out. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. I can also put this in different mode. So I can look at the facial, I can look at the buckle, I can also look at the occlusion. So my first question I always have is, you know, how are you better educating your patients right now? How are you communicating what it is that you see in their mouth? You're probably doing intraoral photos and you might be pulling out their chart. And with the combination of the two, you're talking to them about a potential treatment plan or what it is that you see with their overall health, overall wellness with their mouth. So what this does is it takes that, but now it takes it one step further. So what I can do is with this little rainbow button, I can now put this on. And now what it does is it almost appears that I've got articulating paper done here. And what this does is this shows me where the occlusion is heavier in other places than not. So this now better allows me to explain to the patient what it is that I see in their mouth. Obviously, we do not want to have heavy, um, heavy contacts here in the front. That's where all the loads are going. And so this is where we can start to have those meaningful conversations with our patients about what it is that we see. Maybe we want to recommend clear aligner therapy. Maybe we want to talk about um, night guards. Um, Patients right now are under a ton of stress. All of us are with this whole thing with COVID. I'm a perfect example of that. Thankfully, I have Invisalign in. So I always find myself in the middle of the night waking up and clenching. I'm clenching down. I'm sure a host of everybody else is too. This allows you to be able to better describe to your patients what it is that you see. So in their initial visit, this allows you to really kind of diagnose well, this, these are some of the concerns that I have. And then you can start having this conversation back and forth. Believe me, when patients start to see this, it really gets them engaged with what it is that you're saying versus saying, well, I noticed about a millimeter worth of wear on those distal molars. Okay, that goes right over a patient's head. So this now really paints the picture for them and gives them a good visual image. And again, I can now move all these around. And again, I can separate these two however I want to as well. The other thing I wanted to show you that is very popular is as far as a tool that allows you to be able to show what it is that you see in a patient's mouth. So right now, I always ask offices, how are you time over time talking with your patients when they're coming in? Let's say they're a pa they've been a patient for a few years now. What are you doing to better educate them on their overall wellness of their mouth? So how are things changing? Again, you're probably doing intraoral photos, which is great, but again, it's very hard for a patient to be able to, to discern, well, I can't see the differences between these two images because it takes anywhere from three to four years to see a millimeter worth of change. And if they're looking at themselves in the mirror that long, it's gonna be very difficult. With this time-lapse, which is the ability for me to take images over time, any two images that I want to, and I can now compare those. So again, this is the journey that the patient has had with us over, let's say, a five-year period of time. And I can select any two images that I want to. And what this will do is it will superimpose those two images on top of one another, giving me the ability to show the areas of change that have happened over that duration of time. 
the benefit for both the patient and my team is I can now quantify that with this legend right here. So based on how much change I want to show to this patient, I can very easily now by being able to show this. So once this pulls up, I'm gonna have the patient's image here. And again, it's gonna highlight the areas of concern. So let's just say we wanna go 0.1 to 0.25 millimeters worth of change. So now you can immediately see the areas of change that have happened since the last time that they were in. So just start to think about that. How can you better describe to your patients what it is that you see in their mouth? With this tool, it allows me to take this loop here. I can take it over here and now very easily in this top right hand corner, you can now visually see the amount of change that has happened during that time frame. Very powerful to be able to show your patients. Patients are very skeptical. If you're saying that you, you might need to have a night guard, if they're not in, you're experiencing pain, if they don't have any headaches, they're probably like, you know what, I'm fine. I, I, I don't need anything, I, let's just wait. And you may even get those kinds of responses now. This then better describes to the patient what is happening. So you can predict based on the, the amount of wear that has happened during this amount of time, whether let's say it's been a year, what's gonna happen in the next six months or a year? Even more wear is going to, going to occur, which could potentially lead to cracking, chipping, a host of things. So again, it gives you more information to be able to share with your patients. Another thing that's engaging for the patient is the patient will immediately reach out and go, well, what's going on here in the front? I can easily take this here as well. And now I can show those slight areas of crowding, rotation, potential chipping, a host of things that you can now describe to the patient. Well, you know, we're starting to see a little bit of crowding here. This, this might be a perfect instance for us to apply clear aligner therapy to try to get those back in proper functioning order. It's not so much from a cosmetic thing. We care more so about getting you in proper functioning order. The after effect is, yes, your teeth will look very pretty now, but our main concern is making sure that you preserve the, your tooth structure for as long as possible. This is the only set that you get. The other thing for um, detecting is gingival recession. This is something that can be very difficult to be able to monitor over time. So this allows you to be able to show those changes in gum tissue, whether it's getting worse or maybe it's getting better. Maybe six months ago, it was all inflamed and it was slightly bleeding. And you, the doctor gave a particular treatment protocol and they followed that protocol religiously for six months. And now they came back in, we did another scan and now it looks great. So again, it, it's more testament to the treatment plans that you're recommending for that patient, being able to show that. So that was the other thing I wanted to show. The other thing I want to show you is, I don't know if uh, some of you are doing Invisalign currently, um, hopefully you are some Invisalign users, but once you've done a scan, a scan takes anywhere from three to four minutes once you get proficient. Once you're done, that little Invisalign outcome simulator button pops up. And what that does is it allows me to be able to show a patient what it is actually that's going on in their mouth. So it currently is gonna show their current dentition. And then in the right-hand side, it's gonna show what the outcome will be. Let me just do a quick refresh on this. I know sometimes this can happen. So basically what we're doing is we're doing a snapshot of their current dentition on the left, and we're gonna show what the simulated outcome will be on the right. And so what we do is when we do that scan, we will throw it up to the cloud and we will compare it to over 9 million cases that Invisalign has done. Using artificial intelligence, we compare that um, dentition to the 9 million cases that we've done. And that's what allows us to come up with a rendering of what their, what their teeth will look like after treatment. So this typically takes about 30, 35 seconds or so. And once you're done, it's very powerful because nowadays we're all um, wanting to see stuff right away. And our phones have pretty much trained us on that. So now what this allows me to do is I can rotate this around, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. And what this will do is, again, I can see my, my current dentition on the left 
and what the proposed will be on the right. The one thing that allows us to really show this off is I can segment this out with these buttons right here at the top. So if I wanted to show their lower, if they're looking in the mirror every day, it might look fine to them until you rotate this down. Now look at all that crowding that's starting to happen. They don't typically look in the mirror and look down at their teeth. So this is a great way for you to emphasize that their teeth are currently in trauma, they're misaligned. We need to get them in proper alignment and out of trauma. The, the photo on the right is what their teeth will look like after clear aligner therapy. So they can definitely see what the befores and afters will be. One other nice thing for those users that are currently using Invisalign, I can use this adjust outcome button right here, and I can immediately use the tools here on my right, which you're probably used to using when you're going in and doing the clean check. So this allows me to immediately, while the patient is sitting chair side, I don't, I don't know if some of you are currently doing PBS impressions and then sending them off to us, having the patient then come back in two weeks. This can minimize or even eliminate that step. The benefit of this is the patient is sitting chair side and you can immediately pull this up and with these tools, if all of a sudden, let's say they want to adjust something, let's say I want to adjust this. With my finger, I can move this up or I can move it down. I can do all kinds of things. I can use my arrows to immediately raise it up, raise it down. I can go side to side. I can do incline. I can do procline. I can rotate it around to get it fine-tuned to having the patient really like what, what the desired, desired result is. So any kind of change that you do on here will automatically be saved. So when you do submit this for ClinCheck, all of those changes will be made. So that's the nice benefit of it as well. This allows you, let's say I'll go back. And once I've got this, I can be showing this to the patient and either they can decide right here on the spot or if all of a sudden they're, they're, they need to think about it, they wanna show their friends and family that they're just not really sure, sure what they wanna do, this button right here, the share button, if I click on that, a new window will open up and it's an email window. And they can enter in their email and before they walk out of your practice, they're gonna have this in the palm of their hands, being able to walk out of your office with some kind of photo as far as what their teeth are gonna look like. So that's very powerful because when, you, when they go out and they're talking to their friends and family and they start asking, oh great, well, what are your teeth gonna look like? Well, they're gonna straighten them. Okay, well, how impactful is that? When you can now show them and it stays top of mind, oh my gosh, this is what my teeth are gonna look like. What we've also seen is friends and family oftentimes go, wow, your teeth are gonna look amazing. I wonder what my teeth will look like. So it gives you the ability to potentially get more referrals into your practice as well because of this tool. So I just wanted to show you that as well. You can also adjust this with treatment goals. We can allow for anterior and posterior correction. And we can also make these either immovable or extracted. So if you've got a edential space or maybe you have an implant in there, you can always select those and then rerun the outcome simulator for those two. Okay, so now the most exciting thing. So this is the most new thing that we have re released. Again, this is the near infrared imaging. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of quick and shift gears here a little and show you um, another screen. Bear with me here. Davis. So are you there? Yeah, it's me. Okay. Uh, we did have a question about the 5D relative to care stream. Uh, may, now may not be the time, but certainly before we conclude tonight, if you could provide some basic insights as to how you see your product being differentiated from the rest of the pack. Sure, absolutely. Okay, so here's our near-infrared imaging. We are the only scanner on the market that does, that does near-infrared imaging. So what, it, what we're doing is when we do this scan, I'm gonna scan here in just a second. When we scan, we can, we're also capturing the near-infrared imaging as well. And so what this allows us to do, that light, it is, um, near, it is a light image that's going through. So there's no harmful radiation. 
when you're diagnosing or you know, detecting this area of carious lesion. So the benefit here is when that light passes through, it's going to go right through the healthy enamel. And then anything that is of carious uh, or a carious lesion in nature, you're going to see a bright white light. So what I'll do is I take this loop over and I can immediately see on my screen in real time the near infrared imaging and I can also see the high definition imaging right here as well. <clears throat> Again, what we're looking for is we want to see something that is more of a brighter white because again, when that light is going down into that interproximal space, that light hits it and then that light then scatters. And so that's what creates kind of that reflection and showing that bright white light. This patient here actually has the forming of carious lesions starting right there. You can actually start to see it. And we can actually even adjust this too. So if I wanted to, I can adjust these to adjust however I want to. The other nice thing with this too is this will actually show on the buccal side and you can actually see stress cracks here too. I can enlarge this as well and you can really highlight that to the patient. So again, very informative to be able to show these kinds of things with your patients. Again, it's better understanding higher acceptance because they understand what it is that you're trying to show them. And again, down here, I've got the, the um, high definition image of the intro photo. Again, I can look from the buccal side, I can look from the occlusion, and I can also look on the lingual side, something that you can't do obviously with the bite wing right now. So it gives you multiple angles to be able to see this. Again, I just wanna show you, she had two carious lesions there and just by dragging this along, what you can do is you can try to detect if there is any other carious lesions and she has another one right there. So again, you can zoom in on this. Again, highlighting to a patient, hey, we're seeing this right now. They might not be experiencing any pain. You might not have even seen this on the bite wing, but this is gonna detect it potentially months or maybe even up to a year earlier. The nice thing that this allows too is we can now annotate different things on here. So let's say I wanted to take this image with this camera, I can take this snapshot. I can now blow this up. Now here is my intraoral image. I've got the 3D scan right here. I've got their near infrared here and I've got their intraoral photo right here. Based on the annotation tools right here, this allows me to mark this up however I see fit. So let's say I wanted to mark that, or let's say I wanted to mark it on here. Maybe I wanted to draw an arrow to it. Excuse my graphics. Um, I can also do a text box. So if I wanted to, I could put carries. I could enter anything I want here. So this is a great way for you to create a digital record and keep it in their file um, for future diagnostic purposes. I can also change colors. So those fractures that were back here, I can now highlight those and I can pinpoint these. So the nice thing about this is it's a JPEG image. It's a very low, um, low memory type file, a couple meg. I can either email this to, a, the, to the patient if they want to see this. I can attach it to their patient record. <clears throat> I can keep it in the cloud. Like I said, were cloud-based. So all of this is stored in the cloud under a download photo um, folder, uh, nicely organized. You can also attach this to a uh, insurance claim. So maybe you're trying to, you know, um, emphasize or um, highlight some of the other aspects of this treatment plan and you want to submit it, admit this as well as a bite wing for insurance purposes you can easily do that. You can also change the names of these JPEG images as well. So I wanted to just show you this as well. So let me dive into the actual scanner now it itself. So that's just kind of the quick highlight of um, the actual um, features of, of the scanner, allowing you to get you know, a lot more of a deeper dive as far as being able to better educate your patients. Again, it's, it, I can't stress it enough of how these tools are so impactful with your patients and the amount of case lift that we see is dramatic. Not only with the caries detection, with the um, caries detection that's been out there, we have seen a increase of up to 56% more interproximal caries because of that technology. 
So again, being able to show that to our patients. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna quickly turn off my fancy little background so that you can actually see this. So what we've got here is, here is the wand. I just wanted to show you this. Um, the wand is the only one out on the market that has a 45 degree angle. Most of them are straight up and down like this. The benefit here is this really allows me to get back to those distal terminal molars because of the angle of how this is. It's automatically placed on here. And the way that it's angled is this is gonna be angling back. So when I'm on that distal terminal molar, I'm not having to open their mouth up very, very far. I literally just slide this in. We are a contact scanner, meaning we literally rest on the tooth surface, which allows for less issues with um, sometimes pausing, that kind of thing. Some scanners struggle because you have to hover maybe five or six millimeters over that tooth structure and keep it there the whole time. With these lasers, if you're hovering five millimeters, that, could, that laser could hit that tooth. And if there's moisture on that tooth, it could struggle to try to get the data. That's where with us being right on that tooth structure, it allows us to be able to get that. I'm gonna show you here in just a second um, from a scanning standpoint. The other thing that makes us unique is we have a disposable sleeve. It's a soft silicone sleeve with a protective lens on here that protects this lens as well. So very, very disinfectant. Um, the nice thing is you don't have to be worrying about any kind of cross-contamination with any of your patients because we've got a sterile barrier on every single patient that we're doing. So very helpful from that standpoint. Um, the scanner itself can actually be wiped down with um, cavi wipes. And then you've got the disposable sleeve. And then again, the, uh, the scanner itself, the monitor can be wiped down with cavi wipes as well. So I just wanted to uh, show that with regard to the scanner, there is a start and stop button on both sides of it. When we are creating a prescription, all we do is we go into our new scan, uh, our new scan area. And what it will do is it will now pull up a digital lab slip, probably very similar to what you're used to now, but just now digitized. So there's only three fields that are required in here. We've got our first name. I will touch on here and a keyboard will pop up. And I will touch in the last name. And then the last thing is, well, what's the case type? What are we doing with this patient? So we've got Invisalign. We've got eye record. Eye record is similar to doing a wellness scan. We're doing a full mouse scan. Maybe I'm doing a night guard. Maybe I'm, I'm doing an appliance of some kind. Um, anything like that, that's where the, the eye record would be. Um, and then we've got retainers. And then we've also got a restorative. So that's where the bread and butter is gonna be residing. So I'll just select that just for simplicity's sake. And again, the way that this breaks down is we've got our restorative case here. The next is, well, where do you wanna send this to? So we are contracted with over 5,000 labs, right? So with over 5,000 labs, you can select, let's just say we're gonna to go to Dental Masters, right? So we can have a top five or a top 10, however many labs that you wanna have in there, we can add these at when. So whenever you're going to a conference, all of a sudden you meet up with the lab, we can always easily add that. You can also see right here that the near infrared imaging is always on. So you're not having to wonder, oh shoot, did we do the near infrared imaging on that patient? So that's another nice thing as well. So now I've got my two structures here. I can click on this and now I've got all the different types of things that I'm gonna do for this patient, whether it's a crown, maybe I'm doing an implant. So we have all the implant scan bodies already preloaded into this system. So whether you're a Zimmer user, you're a Strauman user, you're a Nobel user, you're a Hyacin user, whatever, they're all in there. For simplicity's sake, I will just do crown. So when we select the crown, the crown then we just build the crown, right? Something that you're already used to. We can select the materials. We've got zirconia, pressed Emacs, we still have gold, all of those are listed. Then we have the body. So the body we can select as an A2, maybe the incised ledge is an A1. I mean, we can do these however we want to, allowing us to not have to write this all out. It's a, the, the body is an A2, I want it gradiently shaded. We're not having to do all that. You can select it however you want to. Once we've got that, I can scroll down 
And now I've got my digital summary of my um, lab slip that I wanted to submit. If there's anything else that you want to say to Michael when you're submitting this case over to him, you can easily type that in with the notes section right here. When we are ready to scan, I'm going to touch on this little icon right here up at the top that will engage the scanner. So the nice thing about the scanner is it has a heating element that's actually built into the lens. So I know offices have had a hard time with just even mirrors fogging up um, when you go into the mouth. So this will allow you to go into the mouth of a very heavy breather and it will not fog up whatsoever. The other nice thing about having this 45 degree angle is it allows me to go into the mouth it's perfectly positioned so that it retracts the cheek, it pushes the tongue out of the way. I'm not having to have other pieces of equipment that's in the patient's mouth. I don't have to have a mirror in there to retract things away. I don't have to have my finger in there. The, the wand will be pushing it right out of the way. So the way that we've got this set up is you can structure this however you want to in the settings where we have the, the prep tooth first, then we do the quadrant, and then we do the opposing. You can click on any of these and start in any order that you so choose. The way I have mine set up currently is I'm getting the prep tooth. I wanna get the prep tooth first just because the um, scanner tip is the cleanest that it's ever gonna be before I go into that patient's mouth. I've got their prep tooth all ready to go. We've, we've packed cord. We're gonna pull that top cord out and you can see the crosshairs here. And what I'll do is I will take that prep tooth and I will line it up with those crosshairs and I will start the scanner. And what I'll do is I will grab lingual and buckle and just get that prep tooth. I don't have to worry about getting contacts for that. For this, what I can do is just double check and make sure I have everything on my prep tooth. I will have this lined up for line of sight and I can also put black and white on and really zoom in to make sure I've got every area of that and that there's no like tag that might be hanging over here or part of a cord that might be hanging as well. So this allows me to really get a high, high definition image of that prep tooth. That's why we segment this out. It's almost like a separate die. That's why we like to do it. So you get that much more consistent um, <clears throat> reproduction, reproductions of all of your prep scans. So I'm gonna go put it back in color and now I'm gonna to go to the quadrant and now it's gonna tell me the teeth that I want to scan. So what I'll do is I'll start on a distal terminal molar and I'll just drag this right along that tooth structure and just collect these teeth as I'm going along. The nice thing that this will do for you is as I'm scanning, if all of a sudden the patient needs to break for a second, I can just pull the, the scanner out of their mouth. This is immediately gonna give me inf information as far as what areas I might be missing by the blue. All I have to do is come right back in and just grab those areas. It's just coloring it right back. We have what's called scan assist, which is the ability for this artificial intelligence to know that if I scan some of my finger, that that's not a tooth. And as it just scanned it right there, you could see it immediately deleted it right off the screen. So we've got that ability right here. So now I've got my quadrant here and now I'm ready to go to do the upper. <clears throat> so for this, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. It just so happens that I have a Zimmer encode abutment in there. As you can see, this has no problem scanning silver or reflective material. I'll just go over this and grab this area. And what I wanna do is I really wanna to try to focus on getting 100% um, occlusion, occlusion and I wanna get probably about 80% or so of the buckle. And then the lingual side is not as important because we wanna make sure that this is registered for the bite. So now, as you can see here, we've got uh, this all taken care of. I can zoom in if I want to, to make sure I've got all of that. And then I can go right to the bite, which is right here. The bite allows me to have them bite down and I'm gonna just grab a couple of the top and a couple of the bottom teeth. I want a little bit of the gum tissue and then it should register real quickly. So within a matter of about three to four seconds, I should be able to have that bite registration all taken care of. We're taking about 100,000 data points as we're being able to detect this. So this is where we get all the accuracy on this. 
Once I've, I've done scanning, I can then go up to my optimization tool. What this tool now allows me to do is it allows me to see the occlusion and if I've actually reduced enough. Uh, there's a plenty of doctors that I talk to day in and day out that a lot of them are, and I don't know if you fall into this category, where you've just been doing this so long that you're just, you're used to looking at it with your eye. And it's, you're, you're, pretty, you're pretty good on, but sometimes it messes up. And when the restoration comes back, you've got to make some adjustments. This takes all that guesswork out of it. Based on the chart right up here on the top, this now shows me the occlusal clearance based on the material that I selected. So whether it's zirconia or pressed Emax, this will now show me if I have reduced enough. So <clears throat> rather than guessing, this now tells me everything that I need and I haven't sent this off to my, my lab, the patient's gone, and now all of a sudden, oh, I need to call the patient back. No, we don't need to do that. I can easily take this little eraser tool right here, click on that, I can now circle this area, and now that has been erased. I will now go back in with my handpiece, I will reduce this down a little bit more, and then come back over and select my wand head, and now it shows the area that I just reduced. And all I'll do is come back, go right over that prep tooth and just scan that area that I just reduced. And what it will do is it will stitch that image right back into that spot. And then I can optimize this again. Again, it stitches it in there and then we're, we're ready to go. So you'll immediately be able to see, okay, I've got enough area that has been reduced. So really, really streamlining this time. Again, helping with this workflow because you're not guessing. You, haven't, you don't have to be making a second PVS impression. We've got all this right here. The other thing that this allows you to do is I can do margin marking. This tool right here, if I click on this, uses artificial intelligence, will automatically mark that margin and allow me to modify it if I need to prior to sending this over to Michael. So if you're very particular with how this, this case is going, and I want to make sure that all the areas are, adjust, are accommodating for that margin, I can really blow up and zoom here. All the while the patient is sitting chair side, they have not left. And what I can, I can do is I can adjust these with all of these buttons right here, make it very, very seamless. Once this looks great, I can select OK, and then now I can um, send this off to Michael. So that's kind of the overall workflow with how this works in trends. It's very simple. When I'm ready to send this off to the lab, I click on this little envelope right here. I'm going to sign my name, and I hit Confirm and Send, and off it goes. So the second it goes off, within about three minutes, it's going to be in the cloud, in about three, probably maybe four minutes, it's going to be at Michael's lab ready, ready for him to start looking at it. So if you've got a case that's an emergency case, you need him to look at it, you can give them a heads up that it's coming over and they can be ready, ready and going for you know, seeing your scan here. So that's kind of a high level overview of kind of the, the features of some of the all the patient facing applications that we've got on the scanner, being able to better diagnose better educate your patients on the overall workflow. And then also this is the streamlined process as far as making it more efficient, getting it over to your lab, reducing things for you as well. So with that being said, I will now turn it over to Michael and let you take over at the lab portion. Davis, thank you very much. Well, well done. You're welcome. Uh, what I uh, really like about your presentation, Molly, is, is it well done, but to, to get into the deep end of the pool, uh, as you did, uh, was really beneficial, I think, for anyone attending, whether you uh, uh, this is your first exposure to I iOS or you've been in it for a while, uh, really shows all of us at uh, in present time the features and benefits of, of the 5D. Very impressed. Okay, guys, uh, again, uh, good evening. I'm Mike Kolick. I'm the uh, founder and, and owner of Dental Masters Laboratory. And I am in my 42nd year in dentistry. My family, starting with my dad uh, in 1950, when he opened his lab, we've been in the dental lab field for 70 years. Dentistry is now digital 
And I really, when I look at what Davis just covered, and we look at the things that we can do and you are doing in your practice that are digital, one of the things that strikes me about the 5D is so much of what you just see there can be accomplished in one way or another with the element 5D. That's impressive. Uh, what occurred to me as I was, I was watching Davis is, wow, this is like uh, uh, a Swiss army knife of intraoral scanners in terms of its capabilities. That's certainly one of the points that differentiates it relative to others that are on the market. Mark Twain said, uh, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. I uh, could not agree with Mr. Twain and with uh, greater sincerity. I think now is a great time to start using iOS in your practice. Let's get started. What I want to do is just go more to the macro. David did a great job of really getting into the details of the features and benefits of how the 5D works which is very important for, for you to know. Let's pull back, take a look at the macro, why iOS in particular, the iTero, will be of benefit to you and your practice and your patients, as well as your lab relationship. Number one, a better patient experience. Two, faster lab time. Three, ultimately higher income for your practice. That's a combination of cost savings and higher revenue through the diagnostic tools that are available and communication tools that are available through the 5D, higher total quality intraoral scanning combined with what your state-of-the-art lab should be able to do results in higher total quality in the whole process. As Gordon Christensen likes to say, better, faster, easier. That's where we are now in, in digital dentistry and digital technology. Ultimately, what we have is a reliable, accurate digital workflow. We know that patients thoroughly enjoy uh, the experience of digital impressioning and any practice that incorporates uh, the use of interoral scanning, that in and of itself is a plus. We know that with the Element 5D, you've got a device that is fast and easy to use. I really like the uh, touch point of uh, the scanner on the tooth surface, on the occlusal table. Uh, I've used almost all the scanners on the market this is a very straightforward and reliable, easy to use scanner when it comes to capturing the necessary images. We've got a very wide range of indications uh, on the clinical and the laboratory side as it relates to the capturing of, of impressions and then what we can do in the lab. Literally everything that you see on the screen here uh, in our laboratory involves the world of, of digital dental technology uh, to create the appliance or the restoration. We know with uh, a device like the 5D, uh, you're able to uh, propose treatment, not only of uh, ortho aligners, but also restorative and cosmetic uh, treatments such as you see here, uh, a, a, an app and software that uh, automatically integrates uh, with the 5D is the DSD app by Dr. Christian Coachman. Great tool for communicating not only what can be done with regard to ortho aligner, but also uh, restorative cosmetic dentistry, DSD app that's available uh, in both uh, the Android and uh, the iOS applications. Faster lab time. Uh, if you uh, have an iOS scanner, if you invest in the element, uh, you should expect your laboratory to give you an improved lab time. We have our zirconia, our pronto zirconia, done now in only three lab days. So the third major benefit here is you're going to save cost and you will have the opportunity to increase revenue. We're going to eliminate impression materials. We're going to be in a position where by virtue of particularly the 5D, we're going to be able to increase treatment acceptance. We're going to be able to accomplish impressions that are better and faster, therefore increasing your production. Retakes of impressions uh, will go down and remakes will go down as well. I can all attest to that in just a moment here. The faster lab time translates to, for you, faster return of the patient in the chair, less problems with temporaries, and faster collections as well. Higher total quality. 
with iOS, we know in our laboratory, this is what we see, um, an average of about 3.5% remix with traditional impressioning, 1.5, uh, literally 50% reduction of, of remix when we are working off an, an intraoral scan and then a printed model. And shockingly, model less, where we're not making a model at all, uh, down to well under 1%. These are, these are proven results that uh, really speak to the, the power of the digital world, taking out analog and keeping the digital process as clean and as pure as possible. This is a report that was published in uh, 2020 in BMC, uh, the Biomedical Center, uh, relating to 12 different scanners on the market. And I'm a big fan of evidence-based dentistry. This particular uh, report uh, was done on the basis of looking at full arch implant impressions. Boy, talk about a challenge. Full arch implant impressions done with an iOS scanner. The NURBS NURBS method with that technique, the best results were obtained by the Artero Element 5D, mean error of uh, 16.1 microns. You can, some of you may already own scanners made by different manufacturers. You can see how, how they compare. The, the bulk of the scanners on the market are accurate. Some are less accurate than others. Reliable, accurate digital workflow. That's another key advantage of the iOS process. We're not dealing with the analog impression variables that we encounter. As, as you know, sometimes you're gonna have an issue with the, the quality of the, the batch that you received, how it was stored, and a number of different uh, technique sensitive and material sensitive variables that are eliminated by going to digital impressioning. We're not dealing with the worry of, of, uh, of shipping uh, to the laboratory and the things that can go wrong there. And you've got immediate feedback as Dave is so well covered. You got immediate feedback on the screen and then you can also seek immediate feedback from the laboratory based on the new workflow from the folks at ITERO. The prior workflow did require a bit of a delay in waiting for the folks at ITERO to create the modeling and then uh, transmit a model to the laboratory. Over the years now, uh, laboratories have grown in their use of digital technology and, and uh, labs have printers now. We're able to to print uh, the model as opposed to wait for it from a third party. And uh, that workflow has now been incorporated. We certainly can go back to the folks at iTero if needed for uh, some, if we have some concerns or questioning about a scan, they can help us interpret it, clean it up if necessary and get us right back on track. Um, ultimately, we have worry-free reliability. Relative to the analog world, when I look at at iOS, in particular, iTero with Dental Masters as, as partners, um, we're all about not having stress in our lives. And none of us want to come into, you don't want to come into your practice worrying about the cases that you're going to be seeing. Now, are they there and are they going to be done or were they done correctly? This technology allows you to have one less thing to worry about in your practice. Let me just run through briefly what we're up to on the lab side uh, when we receive a scan. We're gonna go through this process routinely of, of receiving a scan, trimming it, uh, working with the opposing, setting the occlusal plane, uh, checking our bite, marking margins as, as necessary, and then going into the design of the crown, checking the occlusion, making sure we have adequate thickness of the material. It's important, for example, in the world of zirconia, we know that uh, we need to stay at least six tenths or higher in the central dissectional groove. Uh, we get into the danger zone when we get below that, even with the high strength zirconias, those that are above 1200 megapascals. Uh, we need to make sure that um, our scan is ready for model building. Uh, we're gonna articulate virtually, and then we're gonna go to print. Um, we can print a model, or we can now create restorations on a model-free basis. Uh, it's important to recognize when you, when you look at a laboratory and, and the milling of their crowns, what are they using? Are they using a simple, inexpensive tabletop three or four axis mill, or are they using a high-end five axis mill? Uh, we're fans of hot five axis milling. 
it leads to uh, greater accuracy and precision in the final product. We center zirconia crowns as certainly have become uh, the number one restorative choice in dentistry in the United States today. Um, did a program a couple of weeks ago on this whole subject of zirconia. If you'd like to know more about the do's and don'ts of zirconia in, in today's dentistry, uh, that's available on the Dental Masters website and our educational resources for download or on-demand viewing. That was a program with uh, Dr. Paul Cascone from Argent and myself. So we're gonna center, we're going to finish, and then we're going to go into our standing glaze. The ultimate result of digital technology combined with intraoral scanning are better results. One of the things that uh, we're excited to do, uh, to offer to dentistry, to our clients and potentially new clients is a $15,000 lab credit uh, against your purchase of an iTero scanner. So that uh, with our laboratory, that's going to be accomplished over uh, a process of about 30 months. That's a large chunk of change. It's certainly reflective of our commitment and our support and our belief in uh, the use of iOS, particularly with the Element 5. I'm going to briefly just cover you know, why, why Dental Masters. We've covered why iTero and why the 5D. Well, we've been in business for 70 years. We've got a, a revolutionary leading edge lab time three days, um, $79, $99 in the anterior. Uh, we know our material science. Uh, we guarantee our restorations, our zirconia restorations for the life of the patient. Uh, we are focused on compliance with the FDA. Therefore, we're one of the few labs in the United States today that are FDA registered. Labs are supposed to be FDA registered. Many are not. And I do want to share with you that, um, ask your laboratory, where's our zirconia coming from? There are zirconias coming into the United States today uh, that have not gone through FDA registration. And it concerns me that uh, some labs are just for the sake of saving a dollar, putting uh, zirconia in the mouth of, of patients. And uh, who knows exactly what is the quality of that material. Uh, very important that uh, you're working with the lab that could do from the simple to the complex. We do have an on-time or it's free guarantee. And um, we've been in the world of dentistry for 70 years, working for general practitioners, prostodontists, the US Veterans Administration, as well as dental schools. So that in a nutshell is, is why your peers choose Dental Masters. So to conclude, what are the benefits? Benefits of uh, the 5D, iTero, better patient experience, faster lab time, you're going to see cost savings and higher revenue and ultimately higher income coming into the practice. We've got a workflow stream on your end and on my end in the laboratory. The result is higher total quality. And we now know that we've got a reliable, accurate digital workflow that we can rely on day in and day out. I really came to the conclusion today that iTero has turned complexity into simplicity. Um, now it's not it's not as easy as a caveman can do it, but it, it's gotten pretty darn close when when we look at what can be done here. So um, my compliments to to Davis and to his colleagues at Align Itero for really being the leaders in uh, iOS technology. Uh, compliments to you and and your colleagues, Davis. We would Thank very you. much love to hear from you. Let me tell you what, what you can do. If you, would, if you wouldn't mind, write this number down, 888 uh, 7279 You can text us now but before we're done. Uh, if you'd like to hear back from us or from the folks at iTero regarding uh, the iTero scanners, just text the word iTero. And if you'd like to know more about Dental Masters, just text the word lab to 888 280-7279. We will have a recording of this program also available for on-demand viewing again as of Friday. On that note, uh, I'm going to stop and uh, say thank you to all of you. We are coming up on uh, 6.59, almost uh, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Do we have any, any questions? Let's take a look. I don't think Davis, there was. are you aware of any questions yeah, from the group? 
No, I think the only one question that we had um, was the how it compares to CareStream. Um, yeah, please. And the one, the one thing I would say is uh, a couple of different things, I guess, is look at the, the uh, BMC report that you had showed. You can see that we have a higher level of accuracy. Um, that's one thing. I think the biggest thing is no one can come close to the iTero when it comes to all the patient facing applications, none of them. Otherwise, all you're getting is a digital impression scanner. That's all you're getting. How is that going to help you convert more patients? If all you have is a digital 3D image on your screen, that doesn't do much. You need to have the tools on board with that scanner to be able to better educate your patients and talk to them about the treatment plan that you're talking about. Well, that's a, <clears throat> that's a great value added. When you think about, again, your competition relative to, to where you folks are, you really have, I wanna go back to that, that analogy, it's a Swiss Army knife. You know, it's, totally it's a Leatherman it. toolkit. It's, a, it's far better than what MacGyver would ever want when it comes to what you can do. So uh, you're talking about a, a really great, great device. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Davis, thank you for a, a great presentation. Uh, we look forward to hearing back from you. Uh, please reach out to us via text, via email, via phone. Um, and we wish you the very best in the days, weeks, and years to come. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy. Good Thanks, night. everybody. Enjoy your evening.